It's not as bad as I expected. You're an animal, man. Do you, you know what you're doing right now? Do you have any idea what you're doing? This is not recommended before a show. <laughs> you, you ever make a cookie that you could buy a house with? Hi, my name is Nicole, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. Hi, Shane and Ryan. If there's one dish I recommend you get here in Seattle, it's so good. And they have just the right so amount of Christmas to so them. Big fan of Watcher, and Americans looking forward to seeing you while you're in town. Welcome to Food Files, where we take your recommendations and our mouths across the country to investigate delicious food. My partner, a Midwest cheese lover. Myself, a Southern California garbage monster. Both of us hungry. This week, we're in Seattle for our Ghost Files live tour and are about to try some tasty ass food. And so to make this show happen, we have Adam Bianchi, food expert, bringing us this food. There's a photo of him right there. Popcorn train. Popcorn train? Popcorn train. Why a popcorn train? Popcorn train. Oh, that's right. It's popcorn train time. I, I forgot about we're that. We're heading to Seattle from Portland. We're taking a train, as you would, because it's a beautiful part of the country. So we're on the train, and Adam has miraculously provided us with some of Portland's finest popcorn from Poplandia. Artisan popcorn. Artisan popcorn. But as card-carrying Colonel Head members, we're both not uh, huge fans of funny corn, as we call it. Your funny corn is any kind of popcorn that is not butter and salt, as God intended. That's right. Hey, popcorn's a beautiful thing. You don't need to dress it up. Ryan's very, very strict on this. Oh, I'm extremely I'm strict. I'm a little more lenient. So to get a baseline from this place, a litmus test, if you will, uh, of Poplandia, we're just having their classic butter and salt. It's a little small. It's, yeah, I mean, I that's- I could consume this in six seconds. That's about, that's about five minutes of eating time for me as well. But we could conserve. Oh, actually. How does that smell? It sort of just smells like classic theater popcorn. Yeah, it does have a bit of that artificial butter smell, which sometimes I enjoy. I love artificial butter. On this morning train, and I do want to say it was quite early. That's why we look dead in this uh, footage. There, there you go. I'll wait for you to get some so we could go at the same time. I'm trying to think if this is the earliest I've ever eaten popcorn. I have breakfast corn all the time. <clears throat> do you? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Mmm. That's really good. That's really good. You know, you go to a movie theater, you yeah. get a big old bucket. Yeah. The kernels have varying intensities of butteriness and saltiness. Yeah. This is like all fully loaded. I mean, this is the, one of the butteriest popcorns I've had. I don't mind it, mm -hmm. but I am glad at the size now because if I had a normal portion for me, I'd have a heart attack by the yeah, time I got be, to the bottom be, of the bag. It'd be bad. That is really good. Look at that, just dancing in the sunlight. Oh, thank just you. Just a, a thing of beauty. Is this the longest you've held popcorn in your hand without eating it? <laughs> I think so. I think it might be, right? Yeah. Normally eat. popcorn lasts about 0.5 seconds in my hand before, oh, you're gonna dog method it. That's really fun, isn't it? It's, I do that sometimes when I'm carrying like a big soda and my popcorn, I just gecko them up <laughs> yeah. like that, like a lizard man. <laughs> this one of the choices. It's very, it's very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like someone's fed you that at the petting zoo. <laughs> Come over here and feed your Shane. And then after that, we do have a bag of funny corn. And let's just say the standard butter far exceeded my expectations. I thought it was quite it good. It was really and like good, I very said, potent. So now we move on to the it, it was some wacky ass like raspberry. raspberry. It's the Northwest raspberry. It kind of looks like a chili corn almost. Oh, it all. Oh. This looks horrible. It has that funny corn thing of where it's very like. Yeah, it's the, hard. The texture feels like this is fake popcorn because it's coated in like sugar. Coated in bullshit. What's on here? Coated in bullshit. White sugar, popcorn, it says, butter. It says ingredients. Bullshit. It's not as bad as I expected. I really don't like it. Well, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's not my cup of tea. This isn't even funny corn. This is hilarious. You know corn. what, though? I found it quite balanced. I did. And it's not something I would reach for. If any day of the week you show me butter popcorn, you show me that, I'm going for butter popcorn. Of course I am. What are you mm. crazy? But if I'm at a place and they only have that and I want some kernels, I'm telling myself, you know what? That's not the worst. Ask me what I do if they only have funny corn. What do you do? You don't eat it. I don't eat it. You don't eat it. I don't swallow it. He chooses not to eat. But pretty good. <laughs> Let's go back to the butter. Go back to the butter. This would be a nice palate cleanser. Mm. No, I'm actually appreciate it even more. Yeah. And so the train lands at the station in Seattle. Yeah. We get to Seattle and fortuitously, 
we've got a little bit of time to explore the city. And so we head on over to Pike Place Market. It's a popular little food market in Seattle. I think it's pretty touristy, but you know what? Yeah. Sometimes touristy things got good stuff. And sometimes touristy things are on great location by the sea. Yeah. And you could smell the sea in this city. That's the thing. I've been to Seattle before. Good seafood, obviously, but also a lot of produce around there. Very freshly sourced, very local. It's quite good. I had a lovely bowl of chowder there too. And I'm a, I'm a chowder head. Yeah, you I are. I love clam chowder. In a bread bowl, preferably. I had a frozen apple cider. You did? Uh, yeah, you didn't even see that, but I did. It's with some Rainier cherries. I had, a, I had bought a bag of Rainier cherries. <sighs> Rainier cherries are the perfect cherry for me because they're just so, they're just slightly tart. Just so, just so. And just a hint of sweet. They're actually a more balanced version of tart and sweet than yeah, a normal than cherry any other is. cherry. A beautiful hue, golden with a sometimes flecks of red. Nice and meaty. I was about to say, a lot of meat on these bad a boys. perfect density, you know. And also a perfect amount of juice. Yeah, Rainier cherries, I, I, I do backflips for the things. He did. Uh, after we have some fun in the city, we arrive finally at the Moore Theater in Seattle, lovely theater. Gorgeous, nice old brick bitch of a thing. Yes. You know, <laughs> it's a beautiful theater. Yes, on both accounts. It has haunted vibes. Green room is up a winding staircase. Almost every theater on this tour has told us that their theater is haunted. By Why the wouldn't way. you think that? You've got the main rooms in theaters, but you know, backstage there's often tunnels. That's and like, true. There's they a lot of dark corners. Of Phantom of the people... Opera vibes too. Yeah, things. gorgeous theater. And what are we tucking to first? We arrive at our first food file. Let's just kick right into it. Our first food file. Here we go. Hi Shane and Ryan, if there's one dish I recommend you get here in Seattle, it's at a restaurant called Musang. The restaurant itself serves elevated Filipino food and you should get their kare kare dish. It's so good, the meat is so tender and so flavorful. I know you're gonna love it, please go to Musang. I'm actually an eighth Filipino, did you know that? Um, I did know that, yeah. You didn't know that, you're just lying. I knew you were a little Filipino. I'm a, a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Just the description of that is kind of testing my will here because I was committed to not overdoing it and eating all this food. Because yesterday I ate, I ate almost all the food, so tonight I'm gonna exercise some restraint. It's possible we could start asking people, hey, what salads are great in your city? <laughs> that might be a... <laughs> a route to go. You also had a bread bowl of chowder for lunch. That's right, and now we have some beef rib. Oh. Yeah, so let me, yeah, let me tell, let me guy, tell about let me, the rib. Let me tell, tell you about, about this, this meaty ass rib, and it was covered in this gravy. This, is, this rib is so big that they couldn't fit it. <laughs> Look at the bone. It's like a human rib. Look at the bone doesn't even fit in here. Holy shit. Yeah. Looks like your bone's a little bigger than mine. You said it. <laughs> This looks like what the Flintstones eat. Dude, this meat is oh, damn. fucking tender. Short rib, kare, kare. Braised short rib, eggplant. I hate eggplant. I love eggplant. <laughs> Okra. I mean, I'll probably enjoy it in this dish. Haricot? Haricot? Haricot vert. Haricot vert? That's green beans in French. That's green beans? That's a nice way to say that. Fried garlic, I like that. And peanut butter bagoon sauce. This is, was it good? Really fucking good. Mm. I challenge you not to eat more than a couple bites for that. Yeah, I'm fucked, dude. This is really good. <laughs> I'm a big fan of saucy dishes. Before the show? Not before the show at all. <laughs> In fact, I hate them before the show, but. That's why we're only eating a little, yeah. Shane. Just a little. I'm only eating a little of this. Just a one more bite, and I'm gonna call it. I, I bet you'll have three more bites. God damn, that gravy's really good, the gravy's man. really good. Wait, can I try some of yours? Why? Because yours has like a little, it looks a little darker on top, and that looks really tasty to me. Now, now that you say that, let me just take one more bite of the dark. I've got it's a, like, I don't know if it's like caramelized or? I just got one more of the bite of the dark part. Oh, look at that fat right there, dude. Is this eggplant? Yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna try some. I'm not Go for egg, it, man. I'm not an eggplant man. Broaden your horizons. Maybe this will convert you. I think it's good to re, uh, there's a lot of things I don't like, and then I try to have them every like, two to five years. I actually do that every year. Every, every year, year? Every year I try squash and every time I go, uh, I every time I have squash. squash and every time I go, hmm, it still Does sucks. squash the thing they make a spaghetti out of? Oh yeah, you can do that. There's a specific it's type disgusting. of squash when it's prepared like a steamed squash. It's truly, <laughs> I don't like eggplant. It's, it's really, I mean, yeah, that's the same reaction I have with squash. It's like someone taking a shit in my mouth. I don't like it. Not that I've had that done before. <laughs> What I do in my free time is up to me. It reminds you of 
what it feels like when someone takes, takes a, a shit, shit in, in their mouth. mouth. Yeah. You're an animal, man. Yeah. Do you, do you know what you're well, doing right now? Do you have any idea what you're doing? He's that. unhinged, eating my beef rib off my plate before he's even finished his own. The top of your Oh, wait. Is is, is, if that's Ben, he has to try this. So we have a special guest, our sound guy from Ghost Files, Ben oh, Foreman. Oh, that's right. Ben was there. Ben Foreman dipped in. We fed him some meat, too. We fed him our meat. Hello. What's up, man? What's going on? You want to try some beef? Beef? You're gonna have to try a little bit. That's the Ghost Files way. <laughs> get it, get, get, get some sauce, get some sauce, sauce, get some sauce. That's pretty good. And then he left and we didn't see him for the rest of the night. We're gonna cover this up so we could have it after the show. And it looks like we got a little juice inside the actual cover portion as well. That's fine. The juice is loose. <laughs> he was. <laughs> He's out now. Yeah. OJ Simpson. Don't block that. <laughs> about OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson while we <laughs> close up our food. <laughs> this is what it's like back here, though. Yeah, you know? every episode they talk about OJ Simpson. <laughs> we get in the green room. Yeah. We talk about OJ Simpson. Really? We eat no. beef. Be regular. <laughs> I am being regular. We, this is us regular. This is an unfiltered look at the Ghoul Boys. That's right. Uh, I'm going to put these in the fridge so we can eat them after the show. That sounds good to me. Because we can eat these after the show. I'll oh, go to town on this. Dude. We're going to each take one of these to the hotel room. <laughs> and just, I'm going to have it on my tummy <laughs> as I go to bed. <laughs> I just wake up, I've rolled around, the, the bed's just covered in sauce yeah. and just, bones. Just pick it up by the bone. <laughs> and just eat it like an ice cream cone. Well, I look forward to that. Should I put this, is it going to be too cold if I put it in the fridge? Wait, can we show them the fridge? You want to see the fridge? Yeah, come on, come on. It was his Mojo Dojo <laughs> Casa it house. This is, a, it's neat. I, Ryan and I don't do a lot of live shows, so this is all really exciting stuff to us when you come in a green room. Sometimes they get they just give you all these great goodies. We got Fresco, we got Polars, we got salads. I've never even had a Polar before We tonight. got sandwiches. And we're gonna try and eat it all. I got a whole thing in Great Poupon. I'm gonna chug that. We clean every mini fridge out but everywhere we go. Yeah. We do. Cool. Okay. What's next? Golden silver. It's a nice touch. It is a nice touch. I feel like James Patterson. You got a strange job, man. <laughs> yeah. This is very fun to watch. But yeah, it's weird. It's a, there's a lot of downtime back there. So it is nice to spend most of that time eating on Food Files night. It's great. And now let's take a look at our second and final Food File of the episode. Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm from Seattle, Washington. If you're looking for dessert while in town, I recommend Lowrider Cookie Company. Ooh. They're a bakery that got their start in farmer's markets and pop-ups and have since expanded to brick and mortar locations. Their cookies are phenomenal and they have just the right amount of crispness and chew to them. My favorite flavors are the brown butter triple chocolate chip, cookies and cream, and birthday cake. Big fan of Watcher and looking forward to seeing you while you're in town. That was so the, professional. That was the most professional file we've got. That was yet. really good, Nicole. Uh, also, I love the dachshund wearing a chef's hat. Oh, that is funny. A little wiener he dog. He loves his weenies. Oh, I really trust places that start out at farmer's markets. Whoa, 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 whoa. This looks, these. These cookies, they got a weird they concave look, they, shape to yeah. them that I enjoy. Look at Mari. She's, <laughs> oh, look at, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she lurked over. We opened the box and it's as if she was Yogi Bear. Mari, you could have, look at the sprinkles on this birthday cake cookie. Mari, you gotta come over. Mar, Mar, I think come she on, loves sprinkles more than anybody. You gotta have the sprinkles. Look at you this. You gotta break in the sprinkles. Look at that. No, no, no. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. What do you think? It was insane. That's good. This is insane. That's really good. Really fucking good. I'm like a TikToker right now, talking into a mic. All right, so let's look at Low Rider cookies. Shane and Ryan try Low Rider cookies. <laughs> cookies, There's cookies and, cream. and cream. Fuck me. That's also really fucking good. Goddamn. I would like this warmed up with a little milk. Oh, dude. We have some fucking milk. Disturb me, daddy. They gave us milk. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's have some milk before we walk on it's stage. It's whole milk, too. <laughs> I love whole milk. I don't drink it very often. Mario. Yes. Yes. Ooh, I'm gonna put some ice in my milk, too. It's really- Ryan, you want ice in? No, I think I'll just do the milk on its own. Get you some ice. People often- Are you pouring me some milk? Yeah, I'm pouring you some milk. Uh, thanks, man. Some people bag on putting ice in milk. They're like, but it gets watery. Uh, Milk is like 93% water. It's really not that different, especially if it's whole milk. 
You're just watering it down to like two percent. Oh my god. <laughs> we could just we could just drink milk before every show. Dude, could you what? Could I what? Could you fucking hurry up? Over there? <laughs> Let's get that milk over here, milk daddy bidet. This is gonna be so good and so cold. Oh. Yeah. This is not recommended before a show. <laughs> We were just talking about how we were going to exercise restraint, and you came over and handed me a glass of milk. We're in Seattle. Like, we're literally about to go to Drink sleep. Drink some milk. Okay, I'm going to dip the cookies oh. and cream first. Okay. Oh, that's good. The milk is good with the ice, huh? This is going to change me forever. A lot of people are repulsed by icy milk. Do you not like it? It's pretty good, and with this cookie, I'm borderline aroused right now. Like that? No. Borderline? I'm okay. Let's let's I'm, go to the chocolate. I'm ready chip. to go to my. I mean, my beloved. Is it even possible to top a chocolate chip? I was going to say, if if it came down to it for me, you can either keep every other cookie in the world or a chocolate chip cookie. I would think I would pick chocolate chip cookie. I agree. I would be sad to lose Oreos. Look at the salt chunks on this though, because that's the key to a good chocolate chip cookie. Is you gotta have some salt on it. Sometimes people go a little too hard on the salt. I would rather them go too hard on the salt than have an overly sweet cookie. Okay, I've dipped. Mixing in too much salt. Oh my fucking God, man. <laughs> it's really fucking good. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't- You're judging me right now, Mari, but you won't once you take a bite of this. I promise you. This too, because they're just- Right. Unreal. I also- Wow. It's so good. I like that they're not, like, reinventing the wheel here. Like those crumble cookies that are just those big, stupid piles. The thing what they're doing here, I hate just those. doing it, excellent. Mm -hmm. That's- that's what it is. This is what I'm talking about with the farmer's market. You could tell people were like, this is good. They started at a farmer's market. Uh, I gotta go to more farmer's markets. If it starts at a farmer's market and grows in popularity from there, you know that's probably a banger because people at the farmer's market are going nuts. They're that's like, true. I need this, I need this. They're probably selling out. And you know that it was good enough that it um, allowed them to buy a building. Yeah, you you no, ever make true. a cookie that you could buy a house with? No. Think about that. That's so, that's true. Uh, I think this might be the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. I like also do, do that you think it's that's not crazy? huge. It's no, not no, huge. I think it, it, it really is incredible. Because her and I eat chocolate chip cookies a lot. We do. How often are you guys eating chocolate chip cookies? It's one of our favorite little treats. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, this is pretty fucking good. Okay, I gotta get up. I'm okay. getting up. Thanks. I gotta get up. Uh, without any further delay, please help me in welcoming the best ghost hunters in the business, Ryan Bergara and Shane Madden. Well, that does it for this episode of Food Files. Thank you to everybody for watching, and thank you to everybody out there who has come out to see us on the Ghost Files Live Tour. And if you folks want to purchase tickets to see us on the Ghost Files Live Tour, I do believe that there are some tickets left in San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, Las Vegas, and also, if there's tickets left, uh, there is a show tonight in Minnesota. That's it for this week's Food Files. We'll see you next time when we are in beautiful Austin, Texas. Oh boy, is it gonna be hot. <laughs>